country set in motion. The formation of the non-violent movement for the people and by the people to affirm their position as the true sovereigns of the, Rep of the Republic was a, was a culmination of, the 60, of 60 days of agitation by the NASA coalition for reforms following the nullification of the presidential election of the 8th of August 2017 and an order of the Supreme Court for fresh elections in strict compliance with the law. Among the demands of the coalition was the removal of certain staff. The reason we have called for this press conference <coughs> is information that has come to our knowledge to the effect that the CEO of the commission, Mr. Ezra Chiloba, in spite of having gone on leave, ostensibly to give room to the special team of the commission to conduct elections of 26th October 2017, in his absence, and in, a, in apparent but belated resonance with some of the 12 points NASA, NASA's irreducible minimums, has since the commencement of voting today made calls to a number of IEBC county coordinators, especially NASA strongholds, asking them to ensure that they open up the constituency or county tallying centers and to make up or manufacture results, knowing very well that in most of it, in knowing very well that in most, if not all of them, uh, did not make, in most of it, or all of them in these counties and constituencies, did not vote or voting did not take place, with voting materials being stuck at the IEBC warehouses for lack of returning officers, presiding officers, and clerks to conduct the elections. We want to challenge your journalist to go out there yourselves and interview returning officers and presiding officers, including county IEBC coordinators countrywide, but especially our strongholds to confirm one, that no voting has been ongoing in more than 60% of the country, and two, even in the so-called jubilee strongholds, the turnout is below 30%. But more importantly, that number three, Ezra Chiloba and the IEBC has duped Kenyans into believing that he went on leave, while in actual fact, having stayed long enough after the Supreme Court, nullification to sanitize the electoral fraud now being committed and visited upon Kenyans. He is now a consultant in chief for Jubilee within the commission and is outrightly procuring fraudulent results to be tallied and posted as vote casts in NASA strongholds. This is not only fraudulent but also criminal and we invite the director of criminal investigations to immediately commence investigations and probe the CEO plus any election official who may have yielded to, this, to his demands. As you can see, we've said in, in our statement here that the Jubilee, even strongholds, have less than 30%. This is an election <coughs> that was forced on Kenyans by Jubilee regime. And in their own strongholds, turnout is less than 30%. This is a referendum on Jubilee, and if they believe in democracy, Jubilee now needs to resign and get out of office. Kenyans, this is a no-confidence vote on Jubilee. This election that happened today is a no-confidence vote on Jubilee regime. Because if you can have 30% turnout in your own strongholds, unless you want to manufacture any results tonight. The other issue on turnout, the IEBC, was supposed to update Kenyans periodically, 10 a.m. in the morning, midday, 3 o'clock today in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening after closure of polling stations, as they did in the last general election. IEBC has not updated, has not told Kenyans about the turnout. And we believe the reasons why IEBC is quiet about the turnout is because they want to manufacture results after the closure of the polling stations today in the evening. Otherwise, IEBC should have told Kenyans by 10 a.m., what is the turnout? Midday, what is the turnout? 3 o'clock, what is the turnout? And later, 5 o'clock after the closure, what is the turnout? Lastly, as we reiterate, reiterate the position taken by our presidential candidate and the leader of the NASA coalition to withdraw from the contest, we remain the custodian of the silent majority of Kenyans 
who are tired of electoral fraud every electoral cycle and call upon the chairman of the commission, Mr. Wafula Chebukati, to ensure that he conducts, uh, one, conducts his duties as a national returning officer in strict compliance with Article 138 of the Constitution and ensure he has results from 290 constituencies transmitted in accordance with the law. Secondly, he will make no announcement based on manufactured results, not emanating, not emanating with from actual votes cast. In this regard, we urge the media to help the country maintain vigilance in keenly observing the actual counting of votes in all the 40,800 polling stations and also help in simultaneously relaying the results counted and tallied. We are also concerned by the decision of the Commission to postpone voting in parts of, in parts or all of Nyanza province, the former province of Nyanza, thus creating the impression that they was voting in other parts of the country. This decision amounts to ethnic profiling, which is, which, which is discriminatory but also unconstitutional. We can confirm for a fact that voting did not take place in 85% of polling stations in Nairobi, Coast Province, Western Province, the former regions called Western Province, Coast Province, and Nairobi, 85%. And even in Northeastern, we have confirmed that 85% of polling stations, no voting took place. But even in places perceived to be Jubilee strongholds, the turnout was below 30%. We call upon the Commission to come out clearly and explain the, the rationale of this ethnic profiling to Kenyans and the world. And the narrative that IBC and Jubilee have been selling for the last two weeks is that people who, who, want to, who are willing to vote can come out and vote, and the people who don't want to vote can stay at home. Now that people of Nyanza have decided to stay at home, have decided not to participate in the election, why do you want to do a repeat again in their areas? And you gave them the option not to participate in the elections. This is balkanization of the country. This is ethnic profiling. This is to show that in other parts of the country, elections took place when for, for sure we know that NASA strongholds in Western Kenya, Kakamega, Bungoma, Vihiga, Busia, Mombasa, Kitui, Machakos, Makweni, Kilifi, Kwale, Taita Taveta. No proper elections happened in those counties. No Kisi and Nyamira. No elections happened in those counties. Now, why are you now, and in Nairobi, and in Garissa, in Wajia, even in Mandera, we have reports from people on the ground that no elections happened in those areas. We are, also, we are also privy to information that why the elections are to be repeated in Nyanza is for one simple reason. They want the security apparatus to finish their business today in Rift Valley and other uh, areas of where Jubilee strongholds and take all the police officers of this Republic of Kenya to Nyanza area on 28th on Saturday and force people to come and vote and use the chiefs now and take the chiefs to the polling stations to vote, otherwise they will lose their jobs. That's what the chiefs are going to be told in the next two days. We have intelligence report that have informed us well that the presence of the police will be increased from tomorrow in Nyanza, so that people... Now, it is not the security people that are going to force people to vote. It is the people themselves who have decided that they are not participating because their presidential candidate is not on the ballot. These people are saying, so long as Raila Odinga is not on the ballot, they are not going to participate. Whether you call for an election on Saturday, you call for an election on Tuesday next week, so long as there are no reforms in the IEBC, so long as the irreducible minimums are not met, NASA strongholds, which is 60-65% of, of this country, will not participate in any election whatsoever unless reforms are conducted at the IEBC or unless the irreducible minimums are met. So with those few remarks, I can leave it there, unless any of my colleagues has anything to add to it. Those, that's our position on this matter.
I think that is all. If there are any questions, any questions? Uh, Your name and... Uh, my name is Kenneth. Before you say, maybe if you are doubting that uh, it's only Nyanza mm. where there was uh, no election, I'm confirming to you that I'm from Western, even uh, uh, from Western and Busia particularly. And some of the ballot boxes and ballot mat mm. and, and uh, voting materials were actually destroyed were banned. Like in uh, Butula, there is a hundred percent no voting. Mm. In Budalangi, half of it did not vote, and those ones that turned up were less than 0.5 percent. So we are just confirming, even the Bungoma, we are confirming to you that don't just profile a, a Nyanza so that you reduce Raila's uh, influence into Nyanza. Okay, um, just before then we take the questions, um, I just want to read.